This is Brad Morton with Morton Design Group here to present the Vakili residence in Newport Beach. This is my first attempt at the design and in this view here we are looking down on the project. This is the footprint of the existing home and in the back here you're going to see a new Gunite Spa. We have a uh, lounging area here to the right. We have a raised observation deck here to the left. We have some patio covers and other things that I'll show you here in a moment as we get down into the 3D animation here. So in looking at the backyard from above the back slope, you're going to see here the yard and how it's configured. So the back of the house here, you'll notice I have three patio covers. These are cloth uh, patio type um, covers that basically would have the ability to draw a canvas curtain out to an edge. It's kind of a modern edge. This is a uh, freestanding metal um, tube out here that sits very cleanly onto the deck without a lot of uh, uh, impingement on the view. And then it uh, bolts back into the house. And so we're doing that three times, repeating. It steps in a little from each corner of the house. And this area here fills this uh, section of the house nicely right to the edge. And I'll show you that in more detail in a moment. Uh, Probably the most uh, noticeable element in the yard here is the spa. This is a raised spa 18 inches off of the ground. I've got four pillars here that support four different um, fire urns with uh, glass bead or sand in them, whatever we end up choosing. But it's an all tile spa with a, uh, some tile inlays and it spills on four sides so it gives you a negative edge effect. It's what we call a mirror top or reflective top spa there. So that's kind of cool. And then over here to the left, we have a nice generous uh, lounging area. Uh, interior of this is about 11, no, almost 12 feet by uh, about 5 feet. And this is a fire pit here that uh, comes up out of the ground. And I'll show you that in a moment also. Over here we have a raised deck. This is raised up 12 inches and this gets a travertine top treatment on this top step and then the uh, first step up here is a uh, colored concrete. Back here behind the uh, furniture that I'm showing is an 18 inch seat wall so if you elect not to do furniture like this there's a seating wall here. Also becomes kind of a visual edge for the project. And back to what I was just saying this first step here is colored concrete and then we have a raised uh, pad up here that is all travertine and then we have some four inch strips of black rock here that separate some of these pads and that will also help with expansion. Here's a view from inside the house kind of through those new uh, nano doors. I'm not quite sure what door manufacturer you're going with but that gives you a rough idea of what uh, that will look like. Uh, going out onto the patio here's your spa with uh, commanding views over the uh, Balboa area down here, Newport Bay. And again, this is raised up 18 inches. This is a nice uh, waterfall feature. It's a completely, uh, in, well, it's a complete infinity spa in that it uh, spills over four sides into a, uh, a trough system here. You'll see the fire elements in the uh, low modern type urns. Again, here's this uh, frame detail that supports the cable, that supports the uh, fabric drapery. And uh, again, a raised sunning area over here, or raised uh, combination sunning and eating. I'm sorry, sunning and lounging. It could also be a table area. We have some different options there. And here's kind of a look at the trough and then the uh, structural coping and the uh, black rock gutter. Over here, we have this cool uh, lounge area complete with a uh, large kind of day bed area here for sunning and it's sunken down so it's a little bit more private and you take two steps down into here and much like the raised pad on the other side we have the uh, upper area here that is in travertine and the first step down is in the colored concrete. Over here to the left you'll notice a fire pit. This is a uh, 7 by 2 foot fire pit and uh, we have a lineal kind of fire flame that will emit from this. This uh, can be an all tile feature here that will tie in with some of the tile on the uh, spa and on these pillars here. So you kind of tie those visuals in. That's kind of cool. 
and uh, this area right here is the day bed area and some deep seating here for the lounging. And this view here just kind of shows you some uh, views across the uh, spa and the race deck down here and also across the uh, coastal view that you guys have. And again, just a nice cool low area to hang out and uh, not so low that you feel vaulted down, only two steps down, but uh, still significantly lower and uh, pretty cool. Uh, right here, these modern patio covers with the cloth, again very clean, contemporary, uh, easy to build, um, cost-wise. Uh, just easy on the structure, so not a lot of heavy duty footings, not a lot of uh, space, they don't take up a lot of space when they enter the deck, so just kind of clean. Uh, this barbecue is a dual level barbecue with uh, upper bar stool seating and then lower prep height. This is a uh, darker granite slab I'm showing with a nice clean squared off edge. Uh, this could be any material, but that's what I'm showing. The veneer uh, here matches kind of the house, so it's kind of subtle. I'm not trying to play that up too much. Here's another look back on the house and the patio covers. And the same thing here. And then we have these nice four inch uh, black stone uh, gutters that kind of separate everything from the house and flows into some of these planters and uh, separates these major planters here. The rest of the planters will be uh, a typical ground cover or mulch. So getting into the central area here we have uh, some cleaner lines for the planter areas and edges of the uh, travertine. Again the same travertine on the diagonal to uh, tie in with the stuff in the house. And uh, here I'm showing a seating configuration kind of this uh, horseshoe shape with the uh, table here and the uh, fire pit here, fireplace I'm sorry in the distance. And the two new additions that you had mentioned wanting uh, some urns with uh, water spilling into it so this is kind of a modern twist on the uh, old olive jar look and again it's kind of a contemporary flair tying in the back and as we get closer to the front we're uh, getting a little bit more traditional as we get to the front and this I think is kind of a nice transitional uh, piece of decor here as we're trying to make that statement including the furnishings so that's the look there and then looking at the front area here, we have the uh, new door that I'm proposing. I'll show you that in a moment. Again, a lineal feel, but in this uh, front area, I'm proposing we tear out the concrete and we go with the uh, flagstone that you guys have in the front yard. Tie in with that. And then a prominent change here that I'm proposing, of course it's conceptual only, but the idea here was to give uh, a, a real sense of an entryway now so it's a tall door it's got a slight arch it's uh, glass and iron with a nice wood surround and then we pick up some of the same concrete uh, detail here that we have in the very front of the house two smaller windows here again this is not where you're trying to get all the view impact per se and then we have a little gable uh, gable roof that runs across the uh, ridge here both front to back and then this would get a stone veneer so that's my proposal for that on the interior here, I uh, just thought we'd jazz it up with maybe some mirrored arches here and here. Uh, new wood gate here with a little peekaboo and iron detail. And then up here I thought it'd be kind of cool to do some wood planking, which is real reminiscent of uh, some of the older Tuscan homes. Obviously they had the, uh, the wood planks for the uh, floors. And then a little bit of modern concrete crown here to uh, take off on some of the other elements. So again, another view of the front door. Some pottery here to the left and right. And moving back here now uh, to the front gate here, I'm proposing that we go with a wood gate. Uh, something that kind of ties in with the general theme of the uh, cool garage door here. And uh, we do a little peekaboo with a some sort of an iron grate or grill so that the uh, the visitor can see through that and see all the way out to the ocean, um, but see this major entryway here know, and know that this is just a uh, passageway gate. That's my idea there. And then lastly, we have the front yard. I'm uh, adding two pilasters here with uh, urns. Um, this could be lighting, but I prefer urns and um, some 
um, just asymmetrical uh, curved walls that kind of follow the grade. And a natural uh, looking here with the uh, stack stone veneer to match everything on the house and a stone cap and then we'll do a uh, prefab uh, cap here for the columns to uh, bring attention to those. That's kind of what it would look like there from the uh, sidewalk to the entryway. So that's my first attempt at the design. Thank you so much for your patience and I look forward to your feedback.